Hinged investigates the relationship between the mechanical and the human body. A hinge adds on one layer of mechanical complexity, causing the behavior of the hinged pole to be less intuitive. The hinges are hard conductors of forces. They define the fixed relationship of the two human bodies. The human bodies are soft conductors of forces. As one performer passes the force to the other performer through the hinged poles, the latter's body loses balance, and the human instinct pushes the body to respond to the force. This performance amplifies Schlemmer's intention to incorporate the bodily experience of the performers into the performance. Schlemmer's Dick Dance is a kind of space language which discusses the relationship between body and space. Our performance is a reinterpretation of Schlemmer's Dick Dance. However, with the addition of a sound layer generated using real-time motion detection and AR technology, we create a series of motion vocabulary by putting different kinds of invisible instruments in space. The locations of instruments form a 2D grid in space, which is regarded as a space constraint. So when a part of our bodies moves into a specific location in space, these invisible instruments are activated and start to play a specific sound. When we use these vocabularies to dance, which incorporates fluid movements, it creates music. This music is then visualized as a map of sound, which becomes another expression of the dance. In Mechalogica, I observe several ideas that were prevalent in Oscar Schlemmer's work. These include form, order, and mechanic movement. Observing how his dancers appear dehumanized at times in service to these ideas, I am curious if Schlemmer was perhaps suggesting the augmentation or replacement of the body with machines. In Mechalogica, I explore this observation by not only mechanizing but also robotizing the body toward present-day ideas of robots, cyborgs, and singularity. For the creation of Mechalogica, a contemporary dance solo, I have used Oscar Schlemmer's Diagram of the Gesture Dance as a springboard for movement generation as well as videos of the triadic ballet as a reference to his movement vocabulary. My intention is not to reinterpret the gesture dance or choreograph a new dance based on the triadic ballet vocabulary, but rather to use my own movement language to explore the ideas observed in these works, namely form, order, and mechanic movement.
the hands have become the crucial medium in the communication between human and the digital devices. Hand gestures, like tapping and swiping, are the new universal language of digital navigation. Hand stick dance is a project that explores the movements of hands in physical space and their effects in virtual space. Inspired by Schlemmer's stabby dance, this project applies the same abstraction to the hands. The hands, abstracted by the attached sticks, perform a series of gestures according to the Apple trackpad instructions. Following the instructions, the performance links the spatial qualities of simple hand gestures to the virtual movements behind the digital screens. Schleimer's circle is translated from the drawing of man as dancer by Schleimer. Complementary to Stabatanz, which highlights the straight lines of the body, this exercise accentuates the circular track swiped by the body. While the sticks represent the rigid linearity of bones, the circles represent the past but also the future dictated by our joints. It is an exercise of form versus void, train versus trail, action versus feedback, course versus consequence. Stabotage see human as machine, as object from the modern view, while Slammer's circle see the human as impact, as phenomenon, a view of the Anthropocene. Recent technological advancements make it possible for people to connect in real time, conquering the barrier of distance. Phones allow people to choose when and where to reply to messages, an intentional delay of response. However, although data remains, the emotional transmission decays in real time as the time for response is unpredictable and delayed. Play on time interrogates the processes and leads to this emotional delay and their obstruction for emotional transmission. The actions pay tribute to Schlemmer's triadic ballet and extends his investigation of the human form from the purely geometrical and physical realm to the central and emotional realm. With the aid of real-time projection, latency 
and multiplication of the movements are controlled through the third eye, the perspective of the observer. When the lens is zoomed in and focused locally on the facial features of the performer, there's little or no delay, showing that real emotions are conveyed. When the lens is zoomed out, the whole body of the performer is treated as an object with more obvious delay in projection. In Oskar Schlemmer's work, the human body is turned into a machine, and the performance identity is subsumed by dramatic, robotic-like costumes and masks. We want to see what it would be like if the organic aspects of the human and their identities are emphasized. The eye, the most powerful and primary way that humans express and communicate their emotions, is chosen to be the medium of our performance. Two eyes are projected onto the stage, blended into the space, performing in an organized order. We try to capture and amplify the projection of the performance metal statues by the huge projection of the eyes. The performance identity is represented by the eye, but in a nod back to Schlemmer, the projection's detachment from the performance and its larger than life scale defamiliarizes the bodily connection. In my piece, I was very interested in how Schlemmer thought about the body in space and also Schlemmer's particular interest in prosthetics and ideas about extending the body or augmenting parts of the body, but also in replacing parts of the body and thinking about how technologies can change the way our bodies work. And I thought of a contemporary prosthetic an example of that is objects people use to touch one another over the internet and forms of mediated touch and mediated interaction. So for my piece, I took a couple of accelerometers and attached them to the sticks. And when I moved, I had that movement translated into a sound that was loaded onto a mobile phone. The other performer, Linz, held the mobile phone and the sound... As it changed, as I moved, I changed to make new sounds. So there was a feedback between the sound that was made through my movement, Linz's experience of it, and then my ultimate experience of the piece. Walking around in the sticks really changed my perception of space. When I would practice, I really noticed things at first and then over time I got very used to it, but it really changed the way you moved and also like very much highlighted the movements of parts of your body that you wouldn't otherwise notice. So sticks on the upper arm or on the thigh really highlighted how those parts of your body move, often like very different to how you think about them moving. 